In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep information from being recorded if barcodes are double scanned. I was working with a firm recently and they had difficulty with their barcodes being double scanned. You just weren't quite sure whether it went in or not, so you scanned it again and then they'd have they'd have a bunch of times on top of each other. So um, I'm going to just key in three numbers to see if I can key them in fast enough. So I'm going to key in ASD and I'm going to enter that. And so it's going to go in the first time and I'll do ASD again. And notice nothing happens. Now, if I chat for a minute or so here and give it time to, to think that it's not double scanned. And so I've talked about it for 30 seconds, I think. And so now let's type in ASD again and put it in there. And here it's quite happily, we'll put in the values because it knows that it wasn't too quick. And so now let me show you what I have done with the code. And so this is quite similar to um, code that I've shared with you before about recording barcodes automatically. Now, first we declare the barcode as a string, range, RNG as a range, found value as a range, um, diff is, this is a new term in here, diff as a double, and row number as long. And so what we're doing here, if we go, bar, if the bar, if there's something in the barcode cell, then we start our first if, and then we search down the, the list of barcodes that we have in, on, our, on our worksheet here. And if they find nothing, then what they're going to do is they're going to select the first empty cell and put the barcode in it. And then they're going to offset and, and then they're going to put the date and the time. And then we go to active cell 2-1, which is where the barcode uh, goes in. And so we go and we select that. Now, if they find the um, they find the barcode in the in the, the number, then the range the range row is the the row number is active range row when they found found it from set range up here. Active sheet range cells row number rows number ten find the first blank so it's looking between this range of cells and finding the first blank, and then active sheet range. B3 equals date, and then space, and then time. Now, here we're starting something new. We're calculating difference. Date difference. This is a new function for me, anyways. Um, and so the quotation, I'm determining the seconds between um, the seconds between it and the active cell offset. So I'm determining the, the cell next to it. If the we're determining the seconds between the the date and time in that cell, and then um, active sheet range B3. Now, if the difference is less than 15 seconds, so if the difference is less than 15 seconds, then you go go to an end ND, and here's my ND, which says active cell, and we go back to where the barcode goes into. But if it, the difference isn't, um, is greater than 15 seconds, then we just, we, insert the date and time in that new, new cell. So I will include this code in the description of my video. And of course, there is um, the code that goes in the sheet to make it active. Um, this this, this uh, program is called Access. And now we go here and I go to the sheet and you can you can access it by right clicking the, um, the sheet tab and now in say show show code. And so it says private sub worksheet change, uh, change by value target as range. So if not intercept target uh, range A2 is nothing, then call access and access is the other program we just looked at. Application enable events true and if and end sub. That is how you assure that barcodes don't record the information twice when they're double scanned. Please subscribe.